Hey, you guys. It's Gucci. I am back again with another tutorial for you guys. This time what I have decided to do is to create a design space Cricut tutorial. I'm talking about from the ground up. So I'm gonna have a series probably of about five or six episodes. It just depends um, on how much we can get done um, in between each of the episodes to show you guys the beginning of design space. I mean, from the time that you log in um, to what um, Cricut Access has to offer you and so on and so forth. So in this first episode, what we're going to do is we're basically going to go through um, the outer layers of design space with a fine tooth comb. We're going to click on every single button under the menu um, feature and we're just going to see some of the basic things um, that design space has to offer you. Um, episode two, we are going to dive into the canvas portion of design space. And that's where we make all the magic happen. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So without further ado, what we're going to do is pop over to the laptop and I'm going to get you guys started in that design space tutorial. Hold on now. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and get started on our Cricut design space. 101 beginners tutorial session. So we are going to click on design space. I am basically in my browser, my Google browser. And if you have a Google, if you have Google or Google Chrome, um, when you go to open up a new tab, it always gives you, you know, the last things are the things that you use the most um, as your first six options. Okay. And so what I have to do is I just have to click on Cricut design space. It's going to take me to this landing page. Can you see how it says landing? If you don't have Google Chrome or it's not popping up, um, when you go to open up a new tab, you can simply type in designspace.cricket.com. Let it pull, it pull itself up. It's actually going to take you to a login page. Because I'm always logged into Cricket, that's just what pops up for me. Okay? So let's take a tour of the landing page. So you'll see you have home. You have a menu button here. And when you register, it's going to say welcome, whatever name you put in there. Over here, he has it says my projects, which you can also find down here. And then new project. And that's how you would start a new project. And you can also find that down here. So this section here is all of the projects that I've personally worked on. And if I select view all, it will show them to me or I can arrow over if I just want to, you know, click on a quick project to go ahead and edit it or start it. Okay. Here are um, the my ready to make projects. When you sign up with Cricut um, for the Air Explorer 2, I believe you get 50 um, ready to make projects. And again, you can go view all here and then you can also arrow over. If you notice, some of these have an A um, at the corner and that stands for access for the Cricut Access Program. This section here has tutorials. Um, that are actually on YouTube. And this section, cards, this is a seasonal section. It depends on, you know, what's happening as far as holidays goes, what will be here in this section. Because Valentine's Day is coming up, they have a lot of cool Valentine's projects uh, that you can do. Again, if you see that A uh, for access, that means that it's basically going to be free for you if you have Cricut Access. Um, if you don't have Cricut Access, then you're going to have to pay them to do that project. Again, another seasonal section. They know Valentine's Day is coming up, so this section will have hearts, you know, anything hard that you can do. Um, and they have some that do not have the A on them. That Martha Stewart one, I know you got to pay for it. Martha ain't having it, okay? Then we have our home decor section. Again, you can either toggle over this way or you can select view all. And these are basically projects that are already set up for you. Have an iron on section. Another Valentine's Day section with all the Valentine's Day crafts. And this section here, the Cricut community. These projects come from people like me and you um, that save um, to the cloud or when you go um, 
instead of pressing save, instead of pressing save all, if you press save, your project will be saved to the community unless you select for it not to be. Um, and with this, people can click on it and um, they can actually make your project. Your project. Okay. So that is what the landing page looks like. So let's check out our menu button and the different things we can do from the menu button. So if I press home, it basically brings me to this landing page. If I press canvas, it'll go ahead and take me uh, to a new project in design space. I can go back here to my menu button and still access everything. So I'm gonna go back home. Click the menu button again, new machine setup. So if you've registered for a design space and you need to get your brand new machine set up, you would go ahead and press new machine setup. Okay. And because I've already set my machine up, it's telling me, come on, let's get started. So it's telling me to connect the machine. And I already have two machines, but if I wanted to add a third machine, this is how I would go ahead and add that third machine. Okay. It's telling you to plug the USB into the machine, plug the rectangular end of the USB cord into your computer. Um, plug in the power and go ahead and turn the machine on. And here this note, this is important, ensure, there, ensure that there are 10 inches of space in the front and back of the machine. And that's basically so your Mac can feed in and out of the machine. We click on continue. It already registered my machine. Um, because Ollie is already turned on, that's that's what I call Ollie. He's the green machine I have, and Olivia is my pink machine. Don't judge me. Um, usually, if, when you buy a brand new uh, Cricut um, Air 2, this card project is in the box. So I can tell you when I bought Olivia, my pink machine, I did not get this project in my box. Um, I bought Olivia straight from the Michael store, and all I had in there um, is a blue mat, which is used for paper projects. I did not have um, this simple card um, project in there. So I'm gonna click on no thank you. It's gonna ask me again, are you sure? Maybe later, okay. And then I can go here to start designing. This would basically take me um, to our canvas, okay. Um, another thing here, it says find your free gifts. If you click here, if you're just registering your machine, you just click it out the box. Click on free gifts, and it's gonna tell you, it's a seven page little thing that tells you everything that's included with, um, with the purchase of your Cricut Air 2, okay? These are 50 ready-made projects that you can do. Remember, we've seen that ready-made tab. All those projects you can do for free. You get 100 free images. So all these images you um, can select without having to have Cricut access. A lot of cool images there and then you get these eight ready to use fonts okay so you get all those things when you sign up um, or register your machine with the Cricut website so I'm just gonna press start designing so it takes me back to my home page the landing page so that was new machine setup now we're gonna to go to calibration. Now, why would you need to calibrate your machine? So say you were using, you were cutting um, with the machine and you noticed that a couple of your cuts um, were off. Um, the machine wasn't lining up things correctly. You would go ahead and select calibration, okay? And you can either choose a rotary blade, which is used for fabric, um, the knife blade, which is most commonly used for a lot of paper projects, vinyl projects, and unless you're doing um, fabrics are, you, are using the rotary blade for something else with the Cricut Maker, not the Air 2, um, then you wouldn't really have this blade. And this is an accessory that you have to buy. It doesn't come with the machine, okay? And so it's just asking us, what do we want to calibrate? Do we want to make, do we want to calibrate our rotary blade, our knife blade, um, or do we want to make sure that we're getting the most out of our print and then cut, okay? Next is to manage custom materials. It's gonna go ahead and load my device up because I have Ollie um, connected via Bluetooth. 
Um, and it knows that I have two different machines. So it's asking me, do I want to switch machines? Okay. Now here is where you can change the pressure in which the blade cuts for these different types of material. Okay. So say, you know, you got your machine and you notice that when you're cutting vinyl and you have it on the vinyl setting for the particular vinyl that you have, it's cutting straight through the vinyl. It's just ripping the vinyl up. You can change the pressure by selecting edit and you can make it less or you can make it more. Okay. Just have to remember that if you changed it for that particular piece of material, that you're gonna need to change it back if you notice that it, it's not doing what it's supposed to do with another kind of material. Also, what I like about um, this section is that it lets you know which blade type you need for the different kinds of material. So for the fine point blade, you can cut a lot of things with fine point blade, as you see. Then the deep point blade. The deep point blade is an accessory that you can buy that cuts denser material. Okay. But as you can see, the majority of the things that you can cut with the Cricut can be done with just that fine point blade and you don't have to really buy any accessories. Okay. So that's our custom material section. We go here to update firmware. In this section, this is basically where you're going to be updating software with Cricut if you need to update. And so I try to go here like maybe every other month just to make sure that I'm completely updated. Sometimes Design Space will give you notices that you need to go and update. But if you select update here, it'll go ahead and select your machine. It's going to run through and it'll let me know whether or not um, I'm up to date. And it tells me right here that I'm up to date. So I don't need to do anything. Over here, account details. You click on account details, it opens up a whole nother window and it takes you to your account. You can do your order history, your profile. The address book is you putting in your address, your payment settings, if you have a credit, your memberships, which basically deal with the Cricut, Cricut access, um, your email preferences, your wish list. Um, if you go to the Cricut shop, and, you know, just like Amazon, how you can create a wish list, and that way you can go back and shop off of your wish list. Linked cartridges. Now, the Air 2 will take um, cartridges. On this one, under linked cartridges, because I have Cricut Access, if I click on it, it's basically going to show me things um, that are uploaded from my Cricut Access subscription. And you see here it says subscription. If these were something that I purchased, it would say, under type, it would say purchased. Okay. Cricut Access. We click on Cricut Access. Now see here, it's asking me to manage my subscription because it knows that I already have the Cricut Access subscription. If I click on this, it'll basically take me back uh, to the account landing page that we were just on. Um, but this just lets you know what you get with Cricut Access. I do use Cricut Access a lot. So I go ahead and pay them their little $7.99 a month because it's worth it for me. I'm going to go back to the home page. We'll get into that later. Settings. Now, this is a really, really good tool. You click on settings. This tells you the different settings that you can have um, in your work area for a design space. So if you look at the back here, it's kind of grayed out, but you see we have those little squares. Now, if I click on partial grid, it's going to give me some really big squares. And then if I click on no grid, the screen is just plain white. Okay. And also down here for my units, I can change it from inches to centimeters. I like the full grid, so I'm going to keep the full grid. Now, for your keyboard shortcuts, what I love about this is if you press the question mark, you can access the help but the help from anywhere. Okay, you don't have to particularly click on settings. But if you go into design space settings and you click on this question mark, excuse me, click on keyboard shortcuts, it gives you all of the shortcuts for Cricut, so you don't have to continually use your mouse, okay? So if you press the question mark um, button, it's gonna give you help. 
And then here are actions for the different um, keyboard shortcuts. Control A is to select all. Control S will save your pro project. Control up S will save project as. Um, and the difference between those two is if you save the project, um, it goes into the design space community. If you go save as, um, it will save just to you and nobody will be able to see it. Control plus Z is to undo. Control up Z is to redo. Select items, you can do control X to cut. Um, control C to copy, control V to paste, and those are normal um, Windows shortcut keys as well. Um, and then you have bring forward, send back, bring to the front, send to the back. Um, that is how you're going to maneuver pictures or shapes within Design Space, and they'll delete. Um, and then control uh, plus the little comma is to toggle the grid, okay? It looks like they haven't come up um, with any other Canvas shortcuts, but I think that that's going to be coming in the near future, hence the fact that they put that there. But I think this is a great source for you guys. I'm going to let it linger just a little bit more, so maybe you can do a screenshot um, so that you can keep this. Okay. And again, you're going to find that under Design Space Settings. So to get back there, you're going to press Settings. You're going to press keyboard shortcuts and it's going to give you those keyboard shortcuts. Okay. Excellent tool to use. Legal, this just goes over, you know, um, the legalities of Cricut. Okay. You may now read the fine print. I think that's so hilarious. <laughs> Here, new features. Okay, if I click on this, it's going to take me and let me see any new features that Cricut has come up with, maybe since I last logged in, or whatever their brand new features are. So if I click on new features, it's telling me that um, it has moved key features like cut, draw, and print. And it can either take me through a tutorial and show me um, what's the difference, or I can just X out of it. Okay, skip tutorial. I'm going to go back home. So just like looking at the menu button from there. United States, this is where you pick your country of origin, okay? No, I don't wanna reload. Help, this is where you can get help and you can get that help also by pressing the question mark button. This is how you sign out. And then feedback, if you wanna give Cricut a piece of your mind, you select that feedback button and you put in your email address, select the category you wanna give them a piece of your mind about, you can go ahead and send them over an email. So that is the design space tutorial, just the outline of all those buttons, what they mean and what you can do, okay? So with our next episode, we are going to be going over what we can do inside of our canvas. We're gonna break down all of these buttons Okay, and we're going to do a little makeshift project so that I can show you what these different things mean and what you can do with different things. Hey guys, so that's going to take us out of episode one, Design Space 101 um, from the beginning for all of our beginners. So next episode, I am going to try and drop on Thursday. Um, at about 3 p.m. So please, please, please like, subscribe, save, share with your other Cricut sisters uh, so that we all can learn how to work this machine and make this machine work for us. Okay, so again, like, share, subscribe so you can get that little bell when I drop my new episodes. In between the series as well, I'm going to be dropping some other videos for projects. Um, I have a couple of mommy and me crafts that I'm going to drop in between the series. So you guys should stay tuned. But for now, um, the series are going to drop, series episodes will drop on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3 p.m.